But first here at five, the latest on the coronavirus pandemic and the growing calls for masks to return. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. Should you be wearing a mask once again? It's now an important question as the Delta variant continues to spread quickly throughout communities here in Florida. From schools to businesses, people are asking when should a mask be used and should they now be required? ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell is going in depth on this topic for us tonight, hearing from local pediatricians on masks in schools and businesses who are taking new steps to keep their staff safe. With a recent surge in COVID-19 cases, many health experts are calling on everyone to mask up. And some businesses are taking other precautions for their employees. But we thought this was the right time to do it. We didn't want to wait for the CDC or some other government agency to kind of come in and tell us what to do. In a recent post on social media, the Columbia Restaurant Group's president and CEO stated they will require staff to wear masks while working, noting Delta variant infection rates rising and saying they are choosing to be proactive for everyone's health. But as the numbers climb, we've decided to put them back on. We'll keep them on as those numbers kind of give us more information. They'll eventually come off one day, but not sure when that's going to be at this point. Yes, I think if we want to uh, prevent the disruption of the classes, I think wearing the mask will be the best way to go. A group of doctors now asking a local school district to reconsider their mask policy. 180 physicians from across Tampa Bay penned a letter to the Hillsborough County School Board and Superintendent, urging them to reinstate the mask policy, citing locally a surge in COVID infection rates they say are likely attributable to the Delta variant. Right Right now, masks are optional in Hillsborough County schools for students and staff for the upcoming school year. We've reached out to the district about the letter. Have you guys recently seen an uptick in pediatric COVID cases at Children's Medical Center? Where you oh, dr dramatically. We had, our, we had our most number of positive cases last week. And that's across board in pediatric offices. It's not just our practice. Yeah. Dr. Lisa Cronin and Dr. Beatrice Sankey with Children's Medical Center both signed the letter. Dr. Cronin says while masks aren't perfect, she says they're concerned about the rapid spread that may happen when school resumes without masks. We do know from all of the evidence we have from the kids that were in school last year that masks do prevent and slow the spread of COVID. And there's no vaccine available yet for kids under 12. And so the masks are the only defense that these kids have at this point. We asked Tampa Bay area school districts about their current mask policies and if they plan to change them as we approach the new school year and with the Delta variant picking up. Some said their mask policies are still optional, while another added their school board would be discussing back to school protocols related to COVID at their next meeting. CDC does recommend if you're not fully vaccinated and age two or older, you should wear a mask in indoor public places. I don't want to wear a mask forever. I don't want my kid to wear a mask forever. Yeah. But if the positivity rate of this virus is high in my community, I will do everything I can to prevent the spread of the virus. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.